It's your girl. It's your local YouTuber. It's Tatum Tivo. Half you hate me, half you don't know me, half you just watch here because you're bored. Hi. <coughs> don't even start. Not kidding. Shh. Moving on. Guys, there's a new challenge out there on the YouTube. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's where you message a hundred different celebrities and see who replies. So, a hundred different celebrities. God damn. Let's message my boy Jake. I know for a fact Jake Paul is not going to reply to me. A hundred percent is not. I don't think you should fight Brad. Sad face. Speaking of Brad, <laughs> do we message him? I guess so. These bitches love <laughs> Ew, wait, he's gonna be like, are you okay? I'm gonna message Tatum O'Neal because Hiya, girl. Got to share a name with such an icon. Been getting compliments my whole life. Moving on to my boy Channing Tatum. Let's get married so my name can be Tatum Tatum. Could you imagine? Mm -hmm. Tatum 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 Tatum. When you don't even know how to say your name, but uh, English isn't your first language. I say no on, I say no on, no on. I have a couple people that like I could message that I know are gonna reply, but I feel like that kind of just defeats the purpose, you know? Because I want to message people that like I semi like I probably aren't gonna reply, but like maybe might, you know? Billie Eilish for sure, she's gonna reply to me. Billie, I like your bagginess, bitch. <sighs> Oh, I well, mm, yeah. Oh, David Dobrik, that's who I was gonna message. I literally love you more than any of my past boyfriends, and somehow, even though I don't know you, you've treated me better than all of them. I'm going. Okay, you have full blown permission to come in my room and just punch, punch me in the face if I start singing one more time. Guys, I'll see you in 24 hours. Finally, know who loves her fans and who doesn't. Okay guys, hi. So it has officially been 24 hours. Um, we have got some replies. But I've only messaged around 70 people so far. Last night, I got blocked from DMing. I think they're funny. I don't know, you maybe will. I messaged Chris Pratt saying, do you want a Pratt on the back? haven't gotten a reply from that one yet. I messaged Marshmallow, like the douche, douche, douche guy. Um, and I said, you're like the modern Hannah Montana. I messaged Tom Holland, the guy who plays Spider-Man and says, my senses are tingling and they're telling me you're hot. That was a thing. Uh, messaged Little Skies or Little Skis. I don't know, how do you say his name? I say Little Skies, I've heard Little Skis. I think it's Little Skies. Some people think it's Little Skis. What do you guys think? Let me know. Or don't. Honestly, you probably won't. No one ever does when I say these kind of things. But I said, I've been up six days, beat you. See. <laughs> Who raised me? Okay, see you tomorrow. And she's back. She's back again. As the video progresses, I'm just looking worse and worse. It's... This is the part that everyone wants to see. Don't lie. You skip through the video to get to this point to see who's in Tatum's DMs. Oh my god! So I had five. One, two, three, four, five. People that I DM'd reply. Um... It's so cool having these people in my DMs. Like, I just want to say, like, this is so lit. So I'm going to start off with the one and only Tatum O'Neal. Yes, she messaged me back. I got a very nice, aw, hi Tatum. So, aw, that's so nice. Like, honestly, if you guys don't know who that is, she was like Michael Jackson's first girlfriend. She was like the youngest female to win an Oscar. Yeah, she's just, I don't know. She's just saying hey to me right now. It's just very casual, like, mm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> Okay. Ew, I need to blow my nose. Okay. Ew, I just got snot in my throat. 
pretty. Okay, next I'm gonna go on to Hoodie Allen because if you guys follow my Instagram, then you guys obviously know that he was in my DMs, posted it as my story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that because I often do those kinds of things and you'll know when I'm posting and whatnot. Yeah, so he messaged me back saying, thank you for the love, be real and follow your boy. <laughs> yeah, my boy, he's my boy now, so whatever. It's Hoodie freaking Allen. Go freaking listen to him right now. Like, he is so good. Like, I bumped that shit back in 2012. Like, hi, long time fan. I can't believe he replied to me, and he's so nice. So, I messaged Jesse from Milk saying, Do you full send? And he said, Sometimes. <laughs> and I replied back, Same, and a picture of my jewel. Ah, uh, yeah, he R bombed that. So. <laughs> At least he replied originally, like, that's nice. <laughs> Ew, like, I actually, okay, I need to freaking blow my nose. I messaged Loud Luxury saying, what does it take to ride in the six? And they said, a driver's license. <laughs> Bro, that's actually funny. Like, okay, not only do you have a hit single, but you're funny too. Like, stay in my DM. Stay. The last person who I probably was one of the most excited for Obviously, Hoodie Allen was my, like, number one, but this is, like, a close, close, close second, if not tied for first. F***ing Mike Stud. Mike Stud replied to my DM. Like, are you f***? So, I think that's so dope that these five people, like, full-on check their DMs and, like, reply back to fans and stuff. I really like that. Like, that was, yeah. Five out of a hundred replied. I honestly didn't know if anyone was gonna reply when I first filmed this video. That's lit. I don't know. I guess I'll just, like, post on my Instagram if anyone else does end up replying just really late because that's been happening. That's why I'm literally filming this so last minute. Oh my god, I work in five minutes. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>